around the world and here at home, bringing relief, hope, and the life-changing message of Jesus. You're listening to the Mize Missions Podcast with Terry Mize. Hello, everybody. God bless you, and welcome today to Terry Mize Ministries Podcast. Terry and I are sitting right here in the middle of the Miami airport, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, of all places. If you so, wanted a nice, quiet place to do a podcast, this is not it. This is not it. So we're going to be interrupted by announcements and all kinds of things going on around us. But we just kind of thought that might be exciting for you to see what, kind of hear what we see and everything, what we're doing here. We're on our way uh, to Bogota, Colombia today. And we are headed there for about two weeks to go to two cities. Mm-hmm. Aren't we? Yeah. To Colombia for two weeks. We'll be in right. Bogota one week, and then in Medellin, Medellin another week. Another week, and um, we're just we're excited about that. Believing God for great things. Uh, believing God for more and more and more uh, influence in the lives of people in all both of these places. Um, and Terry will tell you more about that. We're going to be at the at the Rama. A church in Bogota and then Christ for the Nations uh, in Medellin. But, you know, we just want you to be aware of the fact that we're here to really wash your feet with the Word of God, speak a word of encouragement into you. And, of course, you can go to our website, terrymizeministries.com.org, and you can find all of our products there, our ministry schedule. You can give us a a prayer request. We always pray for our partners, and we're... uh, here to believe God with you, share with you good things, and just encourage you and speak to you, and then you can tell somebody else about the program and be a blessing to them. So, darling, let's talk about what we're going to be doing in Bogota and how you're going to be ministering there in those two places. Well, absolutely. You know, uh, Bogota is a, is a capital city of, of Colombia, and it's a huge city. It's yeah. also 8,600 feet altitude, so I hope you brought your oxygen mask. <laughs> Y'all pray we breathe. <laughs> you know, Denver is 5,000 feet. That's right. one mile. Right. And uh, Bogota is 8,600, so that's right. uh, pushing. That's getting close to two miles high. Two miles high. And so uh, if you climb any stairs or do anything, mm. uh, exert too much energy, you can, you can certainly tell. But anyway, uh, John and Alba Romick, dear friends of mine, they're three that's boys, right. uh, John, David, and Sammy, and Daniel, uh, have a tremendous work there in uh, the city of Bogota. Yes, they do. They have a great church there, and then they also have the Rama uh, Bible School. And right. of course, I love doing Rama Bible Schools. Kenneth Hagen Sr. was my dear friend since I was uh, 16 years old. And of course, he left us and went to heaven in 2003. And then uh, his son, uh, Pastor Ken Hagen Jr., is uh, pastor in the great church there in, uh, in Tulsa, and yet also is over some hundred and I forget the I forget the count now of, of Ramas around the world. Around the world. Uh, and of course Ken and Lynette do a tremendous job in that and train those students and right. he said to me not too awful long ago, he said, Terry, you probably hold the record for preaching in Ramas around the world for a non Rama graduate. For somebody who never <laughs> went to Rama, you you probably preach more Ramas than anybody. So right, right. and I'm honored to do that. I feel like uh, doing anytime I can do Rama it's doing something for Brother Hagen. And uh, love to do right. stuff for, for my fathers right. in the faith. And Dad Hagen That's was a, right. certainly a father in the faith to, to me That's and right. to you. And, uh, and of course, all these other great ministries that have gone yes. on to heaven now. But their legacy continues. And so no, we're excited right. about that. And then uh, last time I was with the Romics there in Bogota, I preached 29 times yes. <laughs> in uh, nine days, I think it was. Yeah. And uh, just had a really full schedule. It's not going to be quite that full this time. But we are going to be there ministering for a week. And then we leave there and go down to the city of Medellin. And in Medellin, uh, Jerry and uh, Barbara Manderfield, our friends as well, right. from Christ for the Nations in Dallas, right. Right. Uh, have the Christ for the Nations school there in Medellin, uh, Colombia, South America. They've been there a long and time. They've been there a long time. Yes, and you know, Renee, yes. the thing about it is, um, in all these 50 years of ministry, I rarely go any, to any country around the world. Uh, that I don't just run into Christ for the Nation CF and I graduates. Oh, that's right. And uh, CF and I have put out a lot of students over the years, a lot of graduates over the years that have gone to missions. And that's right. Of course, uh, I knew Brother Lindsay personally, and 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 then uh, he passed away when I was just a teenager. But then I knew Sister Lindsay for ages and ages, you know, and uh, and she always uh, recommended our ministry and, and had great things to say about our ministry. And we ministered at Christ for the Nations there in, 
in Dallas. And of course, you you were raised in the old Tabernacle, live Tabernacle there in Shreveport, right. Louisiana, right. where uh, where Gordon Lindsay actually started Christ no, for the right. Nations. Uh, <laughs> its roots, its birthplace, yes, was the yes, Tabernacle yes. in Shreveport. And then after a little while, he moved it over to Dallas. And of to course, Dallas. they have their big facility there in South Dallas. But anyway, it's going to be an exciting week. We're looking forward to it. Well, it and really as you is. said, we're sitting right in the Miami airport waiting to get your plane. And so it's kind of noisy, but, uh, uh, okay. you know, it's kind of where we live. Well, it is. I, as you were talking about all that, I was just thinking, you know, they, they began the Voice of Healing on Rutherford Street. Yeah, well, it was Gordon Shreveport. Lindsay actually started Voice of Healing as well as Christ for the Nations. Right. And what I was going to say was that back during the, that time, um, my family actually lived on Rutherford Street. Hmm. And that's where my that's where we were living when my second my little sister just younger than I was born and we figure it's about the same time they were over there starting the voice of healing and it's just been a you know my sister's married into that fam into the the founding family uh, there's just so many legacy people that we are built upon as Paul said the foundation of the apostles oh, and the absolutely. prophets and the last 2,000 years God has had a man here or a woman there in different countries of the world and Paul said we we've got to take heed how we enter into that 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 God's doing something so sacred and so powerful in the earth like Hebrews over there in chapter 12 says that they without us shall not enter in even though they've gone on to heaven right. they're, they're not going to be able to even enter in till we get our job done so our job is so extremely important your job as a as a believer is so very very important and i'm so glad the heritage that terry and i have had uh, by being able to hear some of these great men and women of the gospel t.l osborne used to come to our church and william branham was there every year for the thanksgiving convention brother Lindsay and and our pastor uh, jack moore all of those people demas shikarian were always in our church sure. and their influence and the spirit of what these men have done through the years and down through the decades from the 20s the 30s the 40s um, my sister's married into the harrison family and old brother harrison which was buddy harrison's buddy dad harrison's, uh, dad a uh, grandfather, grandfather brought the pentecostal message to the state of louisiana so there's so much that god's had to do to prepare to just to get you where you are today oh sure <laughs> sure god's got God's got all kind of tapestries yeah. he's weaving and weaving he's and weaving. weaving. The bottom line is, the scripture we use a whole lot it tells us that we are those on, on whom, whom the end of the, end of the age has come. The end of the age has come. Right, that's right. And uh, we're it. We're this it. This is the end of the age Tag and we're it. it. we got to yeah. get the job done. And if the church doesn't stand up and get the job done, it's that's not right. going to be done. And you and I both believe that the church is one of the greatest things that God ever if, thought yeah, of. Right. In fact, no after joke. salvation, after Jesus Christ. Uh, I believe this, that the church right. is probably the absolute number one greatest thing God has come up with. No, and, that's right. Uh, the church exactly. has got to be strong. The church has survived all these years, all these centuries. My, the my, Medes my. have come, the Persians have come, the Egyptians have come, the, that's the Romans right. have come. You know, Ayatollah Khomeini came, Hitler came, Stalin came. They all came Jesus. and went, but, and they've all tried to do away with the church. But the church that's is still right. here, the missionaries are still here. And we're still getting the job done. And I'm looking forward to these two weeks in, uh, That's in right. Columbia. My goodness. We're going to be ministering not only in the Bible schools to right. the Bible school students that are going to be right. the future ministers. Thank God the future apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teachers. And I know a lot of those kids there and a lot of those people there in, in Bogota. But not only that, we're also going to be doing uh, you know public meetings uh, for That's salvation right. and healing and miracles. And my, thank my, God my. for that. That's always fun, fun, fun. But then we're also going to be ministering to pastors as well, uh, established pastors, men and women in the ministry. That's right. and, and usually when I'm in Columbia, I see so many precious little pastors that come up uh, from the from the Amazon jungle and from the Amazon river. Whenever they know that I'm there, they'll come up and be in services with us. And and uh, just precious little people. You'll never. Pro they'll probably never read. They'll probably never write a book. You'll probably no. never see them on Christian television. Uh, but goodness. they'll have a star in their crown in heaven because they're out there in those jungles with the, the snakes right. and the piranhas and the demons wow. and the, the tribes and all that, uh, reaching the uttermost with the gospel, reaching those that have not heard, reaching those out there in the jungle. And, of course, we've got missionary friends up and down those areas in Peru That's right. and, and in, up and down that river uh, and, and, uh, and Colombia. And it's just a, a tremendous thing that we can work together to get the gospel to the world. Well, Thank God for mission. Yeah. Missions is the international diplomatic core of the church. 
You know, it's the it's the Marine Corps of the church. That's they right. hit the beaches first. That's right. And uh, the missionaries are the visionaries. They're the ones that, that see uh, the gospel needs to go somewhere. Exactly. And then they go take it. And exactly. thank God for missionaries. And I'd wash their feet. And uh, then these pastors were going to be ministering to. Right. We'd wash their feet. And we, we, we are washing their feet with the word. But we'd wash their feet uh, naturally and with water as well. Because they are the heroes. As far as I'm concerned, they no, are the they heroes. Are. Uh, they're the ones that stand on the planet, on the earth, in That's their right. area, and stand up against all odds and declare the gospel of Jesus Christ and rescue perishing souls. Thank no, God that's for right. rescuers that's right. of perishing souls. Well, the church is something that's so absolutely spectacular how God has has ordered all this and that, you know, the, the, as we were talking about the church is the greatest thing that God's done since salvation is the first thing it looks like Jesus did when he got to heaven after he offered up his blood is it said he sat down at the right hand throne of God and gave gifts unto men. Gifts unto and men. those gifts are to the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. And they are there for the edifying and the building up of the church, of the saints of God. Amen. And so you need to really value the work that God's doing on the inside of you. Don't just relegate your life to your your prayers and getting the rent paid and getting food on the table. Those things are important. And God said, don't Jesus said even in, in the very first few days of his ministry, he said, Don't worry about all that because if right. God's gonna take care of the birds of the field and, and cause the lilies to bloom and look beautiful and all of that's gonna be taken care of, then don't you worry about it. God's gonna look after all of that. Oh, absolutely. God's You're, got your back. Yeah. Exactly. But that's also what he gave his prayer partners for. That's and right. He gave his intercessors that's right. For, for intercessors to pray for somebody that's that's going through something. So no, we that's pray right. for our partners on a daily basis. And we believe God to help our partners, spirit, soul, body, family, finances, home and ministry and everything they put their hand to. That's right. And of course, uh, you know, we're just, uh, we're always warding off and fighting off demons and devils. <laughs> and right now the IRS just put another attack on uh, us, just an ungodly and unwarranted attack on us. And our, we've had two different CPA uh, uh, firms and two different law firms, a big ministry, major law firms, not, not fly by night, major, major, major law firms have said, Terry, this is just a public, uh, uh, an absolute uh, uh, personal vendetta against the ministry and against you. And they, they four of them, the, the two CPA teams and the two lawyer teams have said, we have never in all of our years of, of business, we've never ever seen anything like this before. So, uh, and we've only got a couple of weeks, you know, to deal with this. All of a sudden they decided they want us to pay $170,000, which again is unwarranted, but uh, uh, you know, we're just going to go to Columbia and preach. No, that's right. <laughs> when we you get know? back from Columbia, it'll be time to get that paid. We believe God will get it paid. So, that's uh, right. We're, we're going sowing seed. Well, that's right. We're believing God with uh, so many people around the world. We are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as you go to your local churches, your pastors should be teaching you how to pray strong Holy Ghost prayers Amen. that you can fight spiritual battles as well as natural things. Because even though we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, the realm of the Spirit has all the authority. No, amen. And amen. so that's why you can... You can the devil think he's going to tie your hands or stop you from doing the work of God. But if you'll just focus on the Lord Jesus, pray some Holy Ghost yeah, prayers, and be strong there's a, there's in the anti, Lord. There's an antichrist spirit no, that's right. that is that's trying right. to stop the church from preaching the gospel. Trying Keep to stop you from the going to teach the, the word. The trying teach to stop us from preaching the no, gospel. No, that's right. But you know, we hadn't stopped and we're not going to. But this plane's going to leave us if we don't wrap this up and go get on it. So, uh, That's right. So say goodnight, Gracie. Well, we love you all dearly. Uh, I look forward to seeing these people down here because that's where you were preaching just before the day before we got married. So I'm looking forward to a great week. Remember, you can order any of our products. Talk to us through terrymindsministries.org. Our uh, secretary, Michael and Hannah, are always there. Office staff are there to help you. Anything you need, prayer, products, we're there for you. We love you dearly, and we look forward to talking to you just real soon here next week. Tell your friends about Terry Mize Ministries podcast. Have a great week. Bye-bye. You've been listening to a Mize Missions podcast. For all the latest updates to our global projects, speaking engagements, and social media, 